Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And if you're on Windows 11 and uh, want to move on to Windows 11 22H2, or maybe you're already there, 22H2, like I am, um, one of the things that, of course, is happening is that there is some release of new drivers for new versions of Windows most of the time. And uh, today, Intel actually released some new drivers for 22H2. Uh, we have uh, AMD also that uh, issued some uh, drivers for 22H2 uh, for yesterday. And so that means that slowly all the different um, companies are issuing graphics drivers and hardware drivers for the compatibility with 22H2. Now, um, that means that as we move on, your PCs will be more compatible with um, whatever version. You know, we always say, and I, I say it often, if you have is issues or problems with uh, Windows 11, most of the time it has to do with the fact that drivers are not up to date. And these drivers might need an update to actually fix bugs or issues that uh, prevent them from functioning well in Windows 11. Now, if you are a Intel uh, graphics adapter uh, PC, that means that if you look at the um, at the device manager in, in in Windows 11, you'll see the different display adapters that you have. Um, my, in my case, it's a Red, AMD Radeon and NVIDIA, but you might see that you have an Intel um, display adapter. The bad news, and I don't know why exactly uh, they're cutting so soon, um, Intel did say that the 22H2 drivers that will be compatible for the Windows driver model um, for Intel display adapters uh, will be the last ones issued for 10th generation or older processors. And that is, um, you know, up to the 6th generation. Now, the 6th or 7th generation, you might understand because they're kind of old, but 10th generation isn't that old. It's kind of weird that they're already um, kind of putting them into legacy mode. So what that means is there's just not going to be any new updates in the future for those. Doesn't mean it's going to stop working. Doesn't mean they're not going to be compatible with future versions of Windows. But it does mean that there will be no more development for these drivers, Intel said. If you're on an AMD graphics adapter, um, the AMD updates apparently on 22H2 are boosting performance of the AMD Radeon graphics adapters by a lot. So if you were finding they were a little sluggish, uh, apparently they're really, really faster now. So that could be something interesting for some of you. But uh, we're moving to 22H2 on Windows 11, and it shows because now the uh, different uh, companies are actually creating drivers that are going to be compatible with 22H2 on Windows 11. And of course, uh, 22H2 is right now just being tested in the uh, Insider Rings by release preview or beta, but they will be released in September. We know that September is the official date. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.